Jeffrey Rivera here for RealityWebVideo.com at the 2012 Los Angeles Guitar and Amp Show. We have another special guest with us, Mr. Keith Eady, from some far off place on the planet. He's been on the road for quite a while. He's been working with a number of artists, and we appreciate that you took some time to be with us. Thank, Thank you. you but it's nice to see you again. All right. So how you been? What have you been up to? Um, I've been good, man. I've actually been traveling quite a bit. Um, most recently, I've been performing with an artist named Dame Funk, and uh, he's on Stone's Throw Records. So um, that project is uh, for, for pretty much for the last five, six months, that's what I've been doing, traveling, doing more funk-oriented uh, music. That's a mm. unique gig, isn't it? It's a trio. It is. It's a trio. And uh, the uniqueness about it, uh, that you brought that up, is that um, I'm playing bass as well as uh, synth bass and, and some keys and some vocals. So it's so a lot of weight just in that little bass world over there. So it's cool, challenging, and I'm enjoying that, you know. You've been using the five string and also you've been using mm. the talk, RoboTalk a lot. So. Right, the RoboTalk. I get to use that on every show we do. It's a couple songs where I stomp on it and, you know, automatically I got that, uh, that filtered sound. That um, It's real cool because it, um, it's really pronounced and I like the way it cuts through some of the, the jams that we're doing. Uh, Dame is using synth bass as well, so sometimes uh, I'll switch off and I'll be doing that. I might hop on the pedal or whatever and it kind of plays well against each other with the synth and then the bass, so. Right on, right on. You just came back home from a run. Yeah. Yeah, where'd you mm -hmm. go? Um, we did um, opening for Ariel Pink, and uh, we were doing like everywhere from Austin, uh, New Orleans, Texas, Texas, Austin, New Orleans. We did, uh, I think we did Atlanta, we did Vancouver. I mean, we were all over the place. Right on, so. right on. Uh, what's the name of the cat that runs the, runs the gig? Uh, Dame Funk, Dame. you know, check him out. He's on Stone Store Records and uh, some modern funk thing, you know. So we're trying to bring that, you know, back to the forefront. You also have some sort of charitable organization you're working with, or? right? Um, what I'm doing is I'm starting a nonprofit. Actually, I've started, and it's just being, um, you know, everything is getting put together. But basically, I want to do something so when uh, us touring musicians are home and uh, we're doing these local gigs or whatever, we can start doing some things to like kind of collaborate with uh, uh, charitable organizations to raise awareness for music for youth, you know, get some of our elders involved, you know, so they have a place to perform and just kind of create a format. So especially the thing in L.A., one thing we have to deal with is the pay to play situation. So mm -hmm. if you have a band and or you're a singer and you're trying to perform, a lot of times you'll get those cats that want you to pay money so you can get on stage. So I like to be a uh, part of a, a movement to try to get more venues so we can get, you know, the artistry out there without making it, you know, a painstaking like, I got to sell 50 tickets before I can get on stage. So we can do something about that for a change. So. Right on, right on. And give back to the local community. Absolutely. That's critical if you want to come back to the town in good state. Right. <laughs> you got to come back. Excellent, excellent. And what's your next adventure now with them? Um, well, one other thing I wanted to bring up too, um, I have a group. Well, my, my moniker, my AKA would be E-Day. That's E hyphen D-A-Y. And um, what I'd like to do is bring back a group that I had started about a couple of years ago called um, E-Day and the Eclectic Boogie Monsters. So we're planning on doing some things with Dame Funk and uh, bringing, a, you know, it's, it's a chance for me to have an outlet as opposed to a lot of times I'm performing with other artists and it's, it's really about that type of music, that style. Of course, you know, I performed with Macy Gray in the past and uh, I've done um, Bass in uh, After Dark, which is a TV show, talk show, but the band was hot. We had, uh, we had more stay from the time as the band director. So, you know, a lot of times you find yourself getting caught up in what the artist is doing and that's great, but you still have to have an outlet for yourself. And in order that I don't get lost, I wanted to try to create that. So y'all look out for E-Day and the Eclectic Boogie Monsters. So. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank Appreciate you. it, bud. Good to see you again. Congratulations on right. all the good things you're doing. Appreciate thank it you. a lot. Thank you very much for coming. All right. Uh, arigato and exotic. Ichiban. Okay. <laughs>